My name is Staff Sergeant Tripp, and this is the Repel Master Personnel Inspection for a full combat configuration. Note, this is for demonstration purposes only, and a full list of deficiencies can be found on the Lightning Academy website page. First thing that will happen is the repeller will step forward and sound off with their brake hand. Right hand, brake hand. Once they sound off with their brake hand, I'm going to take that same, that same side, so right hand brake hand, and I'm going to place it on their square knot. With my left hand, I'm going to place it on their actual brake hand, ensuring that the gloves are present and serviceable. From there, I'm going to ensure that the sleeves are worn properly, making my way across the repeller's body. I'm going to ensure that he has his ACH on and that it's worn properly. Moving, moving my way to the other side, I'm going to ensure that his gloves are present and serviceable. And then again, that his sleeves are worn correctly. From here, I'm going to come down and check the square knot. With the square knot, I'm going to isolate it, ensuring that I have two interlocking bites, I have my proper overhand safeties, and that the excess is stowed in his pocket. From the square knot, I'm going to move my way back up to the repeller's middle of his body or to his chest, ensuring that the rucksack chest strap is fastened and then ensuring that it's not misrouted in between or under his flick. From here, I'm going to ensure that the flick is fastened properly in the front, so one, two, and then on the sides, one over here and then one on the other side. Once I've done, done so, ensuring that the flick is worn properly, I'm going to have the repeller hold his flick. From here, I'm going to go to the carabiner. I'm ensuring that it is oriented properly and that it's present. I'm going to move it off to the side and I'm going to check the overhand lay. I'm going to check the overhand lay by counting five high points. One, two, three, four, five. And before I move on, I'm ensuring that the, the overhand lay is above his belt. With the carabiner, I'm going to move it back towards his square knot, ensuring that the carabiner does not touch the square knot. From here, I'm going to have the repeller squat, ensuring that the leg ropes are not twisted. I'm going to have him stand, turn, bend, and place his brake hand on his ACH. From here, we now have to check the, the rucksack to ensure that the rucksack is worn and secured properly. I'm going to start from his brake hand side and work my way to his non-brake hand side, ensuring that all buckles are fastened, ensuring that all excess is stowed or taped. Making my way from right to left, ensuring all buckles, I find myself with his weapon. On his weapon is on his non-brake hand side, butt stock up, magazine out, and it's properly secured with more than two straps, two straps or more. Once I've checked the rucksack and his weapon, ensuring that they're both stored properly, I'm going to have him lean forward and I'm going to lift his rucksack up. From here, I'm still checking his seat the same way. I'm going to place my fist, ensuring that his leg ropes are properly spaced. I'm now going to take my knife hands, slide them into his leg ropes, and check for tension to make sure the seat is properly fitted. From here, I'm going to slide up to the half hitches, ensuring that there are horizontal locking bars, and that they're present. Again, making sure that the shirt is still tucked in. Now I'm going to trace the waist rope around his waist, ensuring that it's not misrouted. Lastly, I'm going to have him lean back a little bit, and now I'm going to sweep his brake hand side to ensure that there's no equipment present. Once complete, I'll give him the seal of approval. This concludes your Repel Master Personnel Inspection for a full combat configuration. Repeller, sound off.